oh my god it must be a mile from the arctic so um i've always wanted to make like an explosion but i've never everybody that i've seen do an explosion has always used one of the air guns with the compressors so i kind of made my own idea as you can see i put a light on it as well and in this video i'll show you how to make one even though nobody asked me to i still will so on with the show so to start off the build we're going to use a tea light or a kangal how i used to say it when i was a, uh, a little baby and some uh, cotton wool and we're just going to uh, glue the cotton wool all the way around the tea light um, just to give it some sort of volume and shape and this is the poor man's answer to uh, an air gun I'm just going to use a little travel bottle with a spray top uh, pour the paint in mix it with some water and there we go there's our first first mixture um, and just spray it around and you've got to leave it to dry I use the hairdryer just to dry in between uh, the different coats so once this is done then I'll go on to the uh, next color I realize now looking back on this I should have done the black first then the yellow and then a bit of red but hey my first time trying this well my second time trying this so uh, I'm not saying it's the best way it's just a cheap and cheerful way if you don't have an air gun that can make it look superb so once it's all dry I'm just gonna go back over it with a bit of uh, yellow just to highlight um, just to highlight some of the edges just to make it look like it's an explosion now since I'm here and I've made the explosion I've got these stuff that's been rattling around uh, the floor of my shed so I thought I'd just make a little quick diorama nothing special nothing exciting um, so I'll have a go at uh, building a quick gasland sort of uh, diorama As you can see I left the paper on the uh, actual wagon bit uh, because I kind of thought that will give me some texture when I do the painting um, so I, I don't want this bit obviously as you can see I'm sawing it and then once that's gone I'm gonna use my blowtorch just to um, do the wheels to make them look like the flat uh, please be careful when if you're using a naked flame there's my little safety tip for the day and now that everything's done I've put it on a base uh, I just used some um, sort of like 10 mil foam it was a foam mat that I just cut down uh, and then I used some uh, grouting mixture just to give it a little bit of a um, texture where the wagon sat and then this is my bad painting of uh, the uh, yellow lines but I can get back to them and touch them up with a bit of black so I'm just gonna give it a quick dry brush of brown and then start on the actual um, wagon cargo bit I wanted the wagon to look like it had, uh, had some it been sat there for a while um, so that's why it's painted orange now and then I'm going to go over it with some more colors just to give it that rusty look with the decal I'm just scraping bits off here and there just to give that a weathered look so it doesn't look as new as what it is and here I'm just painting the uh, blue onto the wagon now I keep calling it a wagon it's the container 
my my bad and as you can see I'm just uh, painting but leaving the edges so the uh, the edges look like it's uh, rusted So I'm just giving the whole container just a uh, stippling effect, uh, nothing fancy, just trying to give it some sort of age to it. And then here's the trusted hairdryer, it's my hairdryer now, um, drying it quickly so I can just go over it again with some more paint and then I'll just start with some bits of random graffiti that I'll just put on the container um, just to make it look like people have... Uh, been there and been spraying stuff on it. I thought because it was sort of like a, a gas land sort of diorama that putting the no fuel on there would mean that, uh, you know, that's what I kind of guess it would be in the future, even though everything's going to electric cars, which means. The Mad Max films have lied to me all these years because if we're all changing to electric cars then we're going to have to redo all the Mad Max films and make them with electric cars instead. Which then poses another question, how is Max going to recharge his car? That is a story for another time. Oh well, so I'm just making some um, some posts, uh, like telegraph poles or something, just to add to the little bit of the digra uh, diorama that I'm just doing. I'm just going to stick them in, paint them black, and then uh, the build's almost finished. As I said, it was just a quick, simple not fantastic build a diorama just so the uh, the explosion that I'd made had somewhere to sit um, so it was just to try and put it in context so you guys could sort of see how it looked so I'm just gonna paint everything now give it a bit of weathering and there's my bad attempt at two gasland cars um, and there's some sort of random container as well that I just weathered up. And that's it. That's the uh, diorama and there's the explosion. So it looks like they've wanted to blow the container up just to see what it looks like. So as always, thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next build.